بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله uh, My name is Abduhab Hassan Muhammad I want to present chapter 3 about perception uh, Before I start my presentation uh, Let me ask you two questions First Have you wondered that you love it product is color or design does billboard invoke your feelings such as your test of a product if yes this is the answer this chapter is the answer of your questions uh, first we have to tell the definition of a reception reception is the process by which people select organize and interpret these sensations the sensations the sensations of a product sensation means refers to the in, immediate response of our sensory receptors such as eyes ears nose mouth finger and skin to basic stimuli such as light color sound odor and texture uh, the milk is spoiled uh, until bacteria dies, for example, uh, five to six months to, to last for five to six months without refrigerator. So the bubble, uh, it's bubbler in Europe, but manufacturers keep trying to crack the U.S. market. The, the milk consumption is in America is declining steadily because u.s consumers have trouble believing the milk is not spoiled or unsafe that's the example of a sensation uh, hedonic consumption hedonic consumption is multi-sensory fantasy and emotional aspects of consumers interactions with products uh, for example, respondents evaluate products more harshly when they stood on a tile floor rather than carpeted floor. That is a multi-sensory reaction that uh, customers present for such situ situations. Uh, sensory marketing, uh, marketers uh, benefited the, the sensation of the embalmed customers. So sensory marketing are five main sensories of, of human sensories, such as vision, dollar and ascent, sense, sound, touch, and taste. First diffusion, marketers rely heavily on visual elements. On visual elements, such as colors, packagings of products, and such on. Uh, dollar and cents. Uh, marketers create climbing feelings that invoke memories or relevant re relief stress they invoke those feelings of customers uh, third is sound sound uh, is an audio watermark they use marketers with audio watermark watermark is that affect the consumer sense sensory sensory okay okay fourth touch uh, marketers market uh, they make people imagine holding the product is for example if you want to buy a t-shirt some consumers love to touch or feel the physical of uh, of the product okay marketers also benefited or use it the testy of the uh, consumers test some mar marketers uh, use the, the strategy of test by presenting pictures of food that makes you imagine how sweet that, that product tastes. How sweet that product tastes. Okay. Uh, an overview of the perceptual process. This is the summary of the chapter. Uh, the, over, the overview, there are two, two main aspects of, 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 of perceptual process. And sensory, they are sensory stimuli and so sensory receptors. Sen sensory stimuli uses used by marketers, and sensory receptors are the human feelings 
that they receive, receive the, the stimuli from marketers. First, sight receptor is eye, and sound receptor is ears. Smell receptor is nose, test receptor is mouth, and texture receptor is skin. One sensory stimuli senses sensory receptor there are three processes which they will they will be going they are exposure first step or first process is exposure when the marketers or sense a stimuli they have exposure they will feel an exposure to 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 the stimuli okay when they expose to the stimuli second will happen attention they will give an attention to that sensory and finally they will make an inter interpretation interpretation okay first stage which is exposure exposure occurs when a stimuli comes within the range of someone's sensory receptors when a stimuli comes with the range of someone's sensory receptors okay and it happens in, the, in those two main categories sensory threshold and subliminal perceptions okay so sensory threshold which is the point at which it is strong enough okay to make conscious impacts in his or her awareness the point is strong enough to make conscious impact on his hair awareness okay the psycho the, 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 the sense of psychophysic focuses on how people integrate the physical environment into their personal subjective world psychophysics is the when or how people integrate the physical environment into their personal subjective world Okay, absolute threshold. Absolute threshold refers to the minimum amount of stimulation a person can detect on a given sensory channel. It's the minimum. Okay, for example, if you, uh, if the marketer is uh, uh, use two small billboard that can't be seen, it's west. Okay, that is below the minimum amount of stimulation a person can detect on a given sensory channel. Okay, different threshold. Different threshold refers to the ability of a sensory system to detect giants in or difference between two stimuli. The ability, okay, the, the ability of a sensory system to detect giants in a in or difference between two stimuli. For example, Pepsi Cola logo changed from 19 from 1898 to 2009. Slowly by slowly. Slowly by slowly okay subliminal perception subliminal perception reverts to a stimulus below the level of consumerist awareness it's below the consumerist awareness stage two stage two which is attention attention is refers to the extent to which processing activity is devoted to particular stimulus sensory overload okay for a brief, uh, all marketers need or main objective is to get consumer attention. Okay, what happens is sensory overload. We are exposed to far more information than we can process. A media snacker, a recent study found that consumers in the 20s, digital native switch media venues about 27 times per non working hours, the equivalent of more than 13 times during a standard half hour TV show. Okay, multitasking. Multitasking, a large, a large portion of teens report that they engage in multitasking, where they process information from more than one medium at a time as they alternate among their cell phones, TVs, and laptops. Personal sel selection factors. Personal selection factors. How do marketers seem to know when you are hungry? Juice okay those times to bombard you with food ads that's personal selection factors stimulus selection factors stimulus selection factors is three three main aspects okay 
the size of the stimuli itself in contrast to the competition helps to determine if it will command attention. The size of stimulus itself in contrast to competition helps to determine if it will command attention. Readership of, for example, readership of magazine adds increase in portion to the size of the ad. Okay, color as we have seen, color is a powerful way to draw attention to a product to give it a distinct identity. It also, color is a stimulus selection factor. Okay, position. Not surprisingly, we stand a better chance of noticing stimuli that are in process we are more likely to look. Marketers use uh, stimulus by the position. Not surprisingly, we stand a better chance of noticing stimuli that are in place we are more likely to look. Interpretation or last stage or third stage is interpretation. Interpretation refers to the main to the meaning we assign to sensory stimuli. Just a people differ in terms of the stimuli that they perceive. The meaning we assign to the stimuli vary as well. Interpretation is the last stage. When the uh, consumer exposes to stimuli, then gives attention. The last stage a uh, consumer makes is interpretation. Every uh, person has a different interpretation than the other person. Okay. Marketers use a stimulus organization. Stimulus organization. One factor that determines how we interpret the stimulus is the relationship we assume it has with the other event sensations or images in memory. Images in memory. Interperson interpretational bias. The eye of the beholder. The eye of the beholder. Our brain tend to relate income income incoming sensation to others already in memory based on some fundamental organizational principles okay these principles derive from gestalt psychology okay there are three main pious first the closure principle the closure principle uh, states that people tend to perceive an incomplete picture as complete picture okay the people tend to perceive an incomplete picture as a complete picture they perceive that's a pious okay the second similarity principle similarity principle is tell us tell us that consumers tend to group together objects that share similar psych, psych, physical characteristics okay uh, uh, it's a human nature okay every person uses every person believes that every product that's similar to other product he remembers the previous one if the if his if his, if, his, if his experience was not good then he believes that this product is the same as the previous one. That's a similarity principle bias. Okay, the figure ground principle, the last bias, states that one part of a stimulus will dominate the figure. One part of a stimulus will dominate the figure. The other principle or the other uh, the other uh, uh, factors. Will be, they, 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 they will be constant, okay? One stimulus will dominate the figure. Okay? Semiotics, the meaning of the meaning, the meaning of meaning. As we have seen, when we try to make sense of a marketing stimulus, we interpret, we interpret it in light of our period associations. An experiment demonstrated how our assumptions influence our experience. That's the last slide. Uh, I want to thank Dr. Fatina Husna Binti Swaib.
uh, and also thank you all for listening this presentation thank you